Here's your 41 Action News update. I'm Kevin Holmes with 41 Action News. Here are your headlines for Friday, January 3rd. A 17 year old hurt following a shooting in Overland Park. This happened at the Metal Lark Hill Apartments. That's a few blocks southwest of Metcalf and 91st Street. No word on the suspect, but we are told that girl is expected to recover. Union Pacific plans to downsize again. Starting tomorrow, Union Pacific will start hauling cars out of the Armadale rail yard in KCK. The Smart Transportation Union telling 41 Action News the decision means 20 people could lose their jobs now and it could also impact another 50 jobs down the road. Those employees, those members that lost their positions in Armordale, uh, some of them may have seniority to hold jobs in their locations, but the end result is going to be layoffs. The news comes after the company downsized Neff Yard in Northeast Kansas City just last fall. Union Pacific says the Armadale Yard won't be completely shut down and quote, these steps are part of Unified Plan 2020, which streamlines operations as we ensure Union Pacific remains a strong and competitive company. A new harvest filled with promise is now just sitting in warehouses in Kansas. We followed Gabriel Farms during the entire process from some of the state's first hemp fields in July to harvest in October, but now there's nowhere for the crop to go. He says the demand for hemp is so low because the market is so saturated. It's so flooded, uh, you know, with stuff from Oregon and Colorado, which are way ahead of us. Uh, they've had a few years to figure this deal out, and uh, that's where most of the product is uh, coming from. This entire ordeal costing some farmers hundreds of thousands of dollars and has them rethinking the hemp business altogether. Gary Lezak with your forecast. All right, thank you, Kevin. 45 degrees tomorrow, 51 degrees on Sunday. The next storm is due in around next Friday, a chance of rain or snow. That's two days before the Chiefs game. Another storm is due in around Sunday night or Monday of that week, but it looks like it might warm up for the game, so that would be great. Remember, you get your news and weather anytime at KSHB.com.